reflection from the book of Psalms, chapter 86, verses 5 through 7. I'm going to first read it in Spanish, and then I'm going to translate it into English. Porque tú, Señor, eres bueno y perdonador, y grande misericordia para con todos los que te invocan. Escuchas, oh Jehová, mi oración, y está atento a la voz de mis ruegos. En el día de mi angustia te llamaré, porque tú me respondes. You are forgiving and a good, O Lord, abounding in love to all who call to you. Hear my prayer, O Lord, listen to my cry for mercy. In the day of my trouble I will call to you, for you will answer, answer me. May the Lord add a blessing to his holy word. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Precious Father God, let us first pay tribute unto you, for you truly are worshiped to be praised. Help us, Father, to focus on the spiritual things, for your word tells us to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and the rest will be added unto us. So we ask you, Father, to please lead us and guide us into all that is spiritual. I ask you these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Without further ado, I would like to present to you a good friend of mine and tonight's Master of Ceremony, Mr. Felix Muniz. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Nine Night Salsa Extravaganza Show. First of all, it's an honor for me to be selected Master of Ceremony for tonight's program. Tonight we have in store for you a variety of music and entertainment produced by the MTA and Lion Express production. Our main attraction is the participation of the Lion Express Orchestra, a musical group of convicts who have combined their musical talents to commemorate and recapture the greatest moments of a late salsa singer and performer, El Sonero Mayor Ismael Rivera. I also like to apologize on behalf of our band leader and timbalero, Mr. Euclidus Santiago, who will not be with us today due to medical reasons and for circumstances beyond our control. Could we please keep him in our prayers? Also, before we commit ourselves to our dance in spirit, the swinging of our hips, the movement of our feet, and the clapping of our hands, I first like to express our sincere appreciations to our warden, Mr. Ralph Coyle, Investigator Mr. Eddie Young, Chief Advisor Mrs. Shannon Tandridge, Co-Advisor Mr. Tom Cleary, to our Librarian Mr. Charles Mason, Food Service Administrator Mr. Roy Stinson, Warden Secretary Mrs. Cindy Williams and her guests, also to our Chaplain Jerry O, and to all Corrections Officers that are here today. Oh, on behalf of the Lion Knight Sons Extravaganza Committee, I'd like to say thank you for this great opportunity. Could we please give the administration staff a round of applause? I also like to extend this appreciation to the board of directors of MTA, JCs, Red Cross, and BBA for the great encouragement and support. Could we please give them a round of applause? I'd now like to introduce our guests in a good orderly direction, of course. Ladies first, just like we have been taught to do. From the Rain and Without Program Drug Prevention Specialist, Ms. Madeline torres Hodnock and her guests. <laughs> Working our sound system from Second Heart Chapel Youth Minister, Mr. Andy Andino. The Educational Cultural Cable Network Program of Cafetine Show, Mr. Richie Romero. <laughs> and from radio station WJTB 1040 AM, this jockey, Mr. Israel Diaz and Mr. Antigua <laughs> Vitoro. On behalf of the Lion Night South Extravaganza Committee, we welcome to tonight's program 
enjoy and thank you in advance for your support, commitment, and cooperation. Could we please give our outside guests a round of applause? And now I would like to turn this power over to my colleague and personal friend of mine, Mr. Joseph Mercado, for a reflection reading on the history of late Ismael Rivera. Many of you here tonight are perhaps just wondering who Ismael Rivera was. Ismael Rivera was a brother, he was a friend, and he was a legend in performing Afro-Latino music. Born in 1932 in Santurce, Puerto Rico, Ismael Rivera was raised in a poverty-stricken area. Because of his responsibilities and his strong family value, he abandoned his education at an early age in order to support his family. He held such jobs as a carpenter, a cement worker, and he even shined shoes. Ismael was inspired by various forms of Latin music, such as salsa, bomba, plena, bolero, and guaracha. His inspiration came from his mother, who happened to be a composer and also wrote many of the songs that he later turned into hit singles. Ismael Rivera became a professional singer when he joined Rafael Cortijo and his orchestra, which was known by Cortijo y su combo. His unique style of singing gave him the title of the major singer, El Sonero Mayor. Ismael and Cortijo together made popular in the 1960s the plena and the bomba, two styles of Puerto Rican music that originated in the village of San Anton in Ponce, Puerto Rico. Success did not make life easy for Ismael Rivera. This was evident when he was incarcerated in a five-year sentence at the state penitentiary of Rio Bredas, Puerto Rico, for drugs. However, upon his release from prison, he rejoined Rafael Cortijo in his orchestra and began yet another successful musical journey. But for reasons unknown, he separated from this orchestra and formed his own orchestra that came to be known as Ismael Rivera y su Cachimbos. Besides achieving notoriety by recreating those songs earlier composed for him by his mother, he also became one of the creators of the Afro-Latino music by combining the musical vibes of Africa with the rhythm of Latino music. Some of Ismael Rivera's greatest hits were El Nazareno, San Sereni, and Dime Por Que, which will be performed for you here tonight in remembrance of this great musician. On May 13, 1987, Ismael Rivera died at the age of 55 at the Central Medical Center of Rio Piedras, Puerto Rico from throat cancer. During his last days of life, he could barely speak. With only a few hours of life left in him, his sister Tammy asked, her, asked him to sing for her one last time. His response was that she was asking too much of him. But since he was a sonero mayor, he would comply with her final wish. He fulfilled the promise of singing Mi Negrita Me Espera and Maquina Landera. Five minutes after he gave his final performance in front of several of his family members and friends in his hospital room, he died. Ismael Rivera was buried in the cemetery of Villa Palmeras in Santurce, Puerto Rico. He was survived by two sons, Ismael Rivera Jr. and Carlos Rivera, both of whom were also singers but have never gained the fame as did their father. Ismael Rivera and his music continues to live in the hearts and souls of every Hispanic person who is familiar with his songs and unique style of singing that is uncomparable to any other Latino musician. In closing, we hope that you enjoy the tribute to Ismael Rivera, which we have prepared for you tonight, and come to an understanding that Afro-Latino music known to us today as salsa. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you.
Muchísimas gracias. Bueno, tenemos un bello tema para esos de ustedes que se recuerdan. Sonero Mayor compositó muchos años atrás junto con un gran compositor, Osvaldo Ayala. Dime por qué. For all of y'all that are here tonight, we have a beautiful song that was uh, sang and performed by the late Ismael Rivera. And the title of this song is Tell Me Why. Dime por qué.
canción tiene en tu rostro Se refleja la alegría Y el tarro Y el nazareno me dijo Que se le ha dado consejo bueno Es el nazareno
what you are seeing here today and what you are hearing here today are gifts and talents given by the Most High. Music has always been and will continue to be a vital part of our human life. With music, we can nurture our spirit, our soul, convey messages to the masses, and express our values, traditions, beliefs, and inner joy. The Latin music has a very, very long history. Our music has its origin in the African culture. And for the most part, it's also known as the Latin African music. It all began many, many years ago when Africans were brought to the Caribbean islands to work in the tobacco fields, sugarcane fields, and agricultural farms. They brought with them their customs, traditions, their music, and the different dancing styles and introduced them to the inhabitants of Puerto Rico, Cuba, and the Dominican Republic. We, for the most part, were Latin American Indians. Out of this encounter grew our music known as La Bomba, La Plena, Aguinaldo, Guabonco, Sa, Merengue, Pero, San Montuno, Guajira, and Cumbia. Ismael Rivera was not the only Puerto Rican musician who had an impact in the Latin musical world. There were many others. Among them was the famous Tito Rodriguez, Hector Lavoe, Pedin Rodriguez, Luis Ramirez, and others. But for Ismael, he would always be remembered as the pioneer of the Latin music who had captured the hearts of many Latin Americans, especially that of the Puerto Rican culture. With that thought in mind, I now like to turn over this portion of the program to a personal friend of mine and co-worker and a community leader, Mr. Faustino Gonzalez, for an appreciation of work presentation. Could we please give him a round of applause?
haven't spoke too much tonight. I'm not really a, a speaker, you know. I just like to come up here and play and sing. But it's um, it's also an honor and a pleasure for me to be here. Uh, I'm one of the guys that started this band in 1991, and I have seen this orchestra grow so, you know, so much. And uh, I'm going to continue to do this because this is what I love doing. You know, when I invite people in here, I like to invite everybody from the population. But it's very important for us to invite people from the community and the out so they'll know what we're doing. You know, because we're doing something positive in here, and that's what we want to do. And good on you, too. Yeah. <laughs> Andy, uh, Andy Andino been a great help to me. And uh, he also, he's always there for me. He's always volunteering. And anytime I ask him to do something, he's there. You know, he never says no. Richie Romero, I just happened to meet, I think, a month ago. And the way I met him was through Andy Andino. And this, this guy, he's, you know, he's one of those brothers that he's willing, he's willing to do anything for you. As long as it's positive, he's there. You know, and we can't ask for nothing else than that. But uh, the intention for this show tonight, we were supposed to record this for a TV station. Uh, circumstances beyond our control, we weren't able to do that. But we're going to continue to try to do that. Because it's very important that we reach out to those youth out there, especially the Latino youth that are out there in the neighborhood doing all kind of crazy stuff. We don't want them in here, you know. I mean, there's a lot of brothers up here with talent, and we had to come to the joint, to prison, to put our talent together. You know, we want to do this outside. We want to express to them that if they have any type of talent, they need to start doing positive things so they won't end up where we are today. Amen. But I welcome all of you in here today, and uh, we'll continue to enjoy the show.
you bring that with us tonight. <laughs> this next song is um, it's an original. It was written by um, Freddie Burgos, our bass player. He uh, he did. Pero que a través de los años 
años le hemos incorporado la salsa. En el trombón, Henwood.
ladies and gentlemen, we have concluded our program for this evening. I think it has been a great show, great performance, and great entertainment by the Lion Express Band. I would like everybody in this room that, that when they return to their homes or whatever place they go, I'd like them to return with a thought in mind. We strongly believe that a step towards self-sufficiency is a step away from growth, change, development, or reading. For this reason, we would always need the support of our community leaders such as yourselves and ourselves so that we could work together and change the public perception of who we are and what we are all about. Once again, we thank you, God bless you, and have a good evening.